there's an art to dua. And there's a way to be heard by Allah. And there's a way to be rejected by Allah. And there's dua where the Prophet ﷺ says that the person will make dua and the angels will capture it and imprison it and subdue it. And in other statements, the Prophet said the dua will be thrown back at the petitioner, striking him in the face because it is unworthy of ascending to the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah says in the Quran, your Lord said, ask me, invoke me, I will answer you. But remember that those who are too boastful and arrogant and proud to ask of me shall enter Jahannam in humiliation. The more requests you make of Allah, the more deserving you are of His mercy. And the less you ask Allah for things, the further away you are from His mercy. Allah says, remember me and I will remember you. You're known to Allah. The hadith in Bukhari, when Allah loves a person, He calls Jibreel and says, Ya Jibreel, this man, this woman, this individual, I love them. You love them. Jibreel calls out to everything in the heavens and says, Allah loves this person. Love him as well. And on earth, Allah's acceptance for you becomes known. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When they ask you concerning me, I am near. I'm with you. I see all, hear all, I know all. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, yes, there's moments where you need to invoke Allah. You don't think you need His mercy. Then there's other moments where Allah drives you into the ground. Where you are put on your face by circumstance. Where everything that was stable is upside down. Where what you thought you built, Allah shows you that He can take from you because it was not yours in beginning. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is near all of us. And He is near to the one who has purity of heart more than the one who has lots of actions without purity of heart. Your dua is answered based on what qualifies its answer. No dua is complete without the blessed salah upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nothing raises you in standard and in place between you and Allah greater than you honoring Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the hadith is authentic in the Abi Dawood. He said to the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, indi haj, I have a need. Should I ask Allah or should I say my prayers for you? The Prophet ﷺ said, some of this and some of this. He said, how much should I say in salah upon you, O Messenger of Allah? Should I do a third of my dua instead of making in every three dua, one salah for you and two dua? And the Prophet said, you can or more. He said, half, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet said, you can or more. He said, Ya Rasulullah, I will make all of my dua. I'm not going to ask Allah for anything. But Allah knows what's in my heart. I'm going to make my dua, my salah and salam upon you, all of it, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet smiled and said, then you will be given what you wanted and more. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.